So Sanctuary is still not done, but I, I know, I know, but hear me out, I have reasons. Okay, okay, okay. For the past week, I've been putting in the final touches and getting everything ready for the tour, right? And while I was doing that, I discovered that the first couple of builds I did here were not decorated. So like the town hall building, the police station, Adam Cat's garage, a few places in the marketplace, all of those were completely empty. And you guys remember, I did those builds on the Xbox and then my save corrupted, so I switched to PC and rebuilt them all. Yeah, rebuilt, not redecorated. I completely forgot about that. Uh, but I got most of them decorated, so we're good. And uh, that part's pretty much done. Now, there was an empty spot right here where this beautiful, majestic building now stands. This spot was empty, and it was too small to really build anything, but also too big to cover up. So with a little bit of finagling and a whole lot of fuckery, I was able to switch the church and the graveyard. So for the astute among you, you might recall that the church was originally right here with the graveyard to the left of it. But I switched them around and made the graveyard a little bit smaller, which gave me more space to build in this fucking beautiful upscale condo building. And I'm so glad I did because this building fits in perfectly right here with all the other structures and I needed some more living areas because I didn't have enough for all of the settlers that I'm gonna add in here for the tour. So win-win, right? Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, this was a pretty easy build. The foundation is three by three, so quite literally a square. And for the walls, I used the new pieces in the block section from Workshop Rearranged. These are from their recent updates, so if you haven't seen or built with them, you totally need to because they are awesome. We basically have all the shapes we need with windows, they come in several different textures, and they just work great. So these are the pieces that I used. I just snapped them around the foundation and made sure to include a bunch of windows because I wanted it to have that kind of old school Charleston kind of vibe. Now the idea for this build is that this is where the wealthier settlers are going to live. The holier than thou dickheads essentially. Like the ones, oh like the ones from Diamond City. You know the um the, uh, the Upper Stands residents, you remember those people? They're like, they're just assholes, like, uh, oh, you don't belong here, you're too poor. <laughs> like those people, which made this build kind of fun as far as decorating goes because it still has that post-war kind of feel, but it's just not, it's just a cleaner version of it. So like out here, I put this planter with some flowers. I don't know if flowers can really grow in this radioactive environment, but it looks cool. And on the inside, you see that it's still very much post-war, but I use a lot of pieces that I don't normally use, like this fancy couch or the fancy cabinets. And the paintings, I use a lot of paintings in this build because I imagine those would be few and far between and something that you would pay a trader a lot of caps for. So I see having paintings on the wall, you know, more of a privilege. And there's no clutter either. Everything is tidy because these people pride themselves on being sophisticated and eloquent. Like they don't have stuff lying around because they don't scavenge. They have people that scavenge for them or they'll just buy it. And that's how they got most of the furniture, by the way. They just bought it from high-end traders. So it's pretty cool decorating based on that idea because I haven't really done that before. But going back to the structure, let's go inside this one. So each room has the same setup. There is a half wall and a doorway on the back floor pieces to make a bedroom. And I use the same brick walls as the outside. I section these rooms off by putting up walls right down the middle of the building. So it's walls down the middle and a half wall with a doorway to make a bedroom. And I did that same thing in each room. But what's really cool about these pieces is that you can place down any piece, then switch over to panels. And under walls, we have tile, wall, wallpaper and metal. So with this build I use wallpaper and all you have to do is find the one that corresponds with the piece that you're using and it just snaps on. This is just like the floor panels that I use all the time but it's for the walls. And you can see that they have some wear on the top and the bottom of the panel so it still looks on theme. And for the roofs, I just use the ones in Snappy House Kit under the Shell Kit tab, which these work really well for buildings like this if you just want to have a flat top, because then you can snap on the roof trim that goes with it, and that's exactly what I did here for the roof and for the smaller awning over the front porch. Because I have to have a porch. I don't, I don't know why, I can't explain it, but if you follow me, then expect to see porches. And I'm really surprised you guys haven't made fun of me for that. Although you probably will now, since I pointed it out and said something about it. Son of a but that's pretty much all I wanted to show you for this build. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that the next Fallout video you will see will be the tour, because by now, you probably won't believe me, and I don't blame you. But look at this, okay? I'll give you a quick sneak peek, all right? So look at all of this shit I have built. 
you can see that my frame rate has dropped a good bit and part of the reason is because of the mod that I'm using to fly around and I know, I know I can use TFC but this one's just faster so when I walk around it won't be this bad. And another reason is obviously because of everything that I've built. I mean, I'm very lucky that my game doesn't crash or my computer doesn't catch fire because this is a lot of shit. I mean, to the point where I'm using a mod that greatly increases my settlement limits, like how much I can build in a settlement. The idea behind this mod is that it's unlimited because you can build so much, right? And look at my meter. This is almost full with that mod active, so I'm, I'm kind of concerned about uploading this as a mod because I don't want it to crash people's systems, but you know, I'm still going to try everything I can to upload it and make it as small and functional as possible. But thanks for being patient, and of course, thanks for watching. Now here's the tour. All right, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think, and if you have any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Check out this next video, which YouTube suggested solely for you, which is pretty cool. And if you enjoyed this build, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.